um, even like these common guidelines. You go to a workshop and there's the you know um, obligatory set of ground rules, they're, and they're they're posted as if they're universally going to create a space that's constructive for everybody, but they're really um, guidelines to um, keep white people comfortable, um, and that are never interrogated, and that don't um, account for power. So th things like assume good intentions. No, uh, focus on impact. Your intentions, yeah, of course, I will start from the premise that you have good intentions, although honestly I, I find that irrelevant. I want to know what my impact was. Um, uh, another one is I'm actually working on it. I know that I'm a little controversial and provocative, okay? So, and I, and I think that's important. Um, I'm working on a piece on trust, right? Because this is another one. You've got to build trust, right? And and in trying to figure out what do white people mean when they when they say that, right? When that's so important to them, frankly, because again, no one's no one's ever stolen a wallet or anything. Um, so, what I have found that they mean is I need to um, trust that you don't think I'm racist before I can work on my racism. I need to trust that you won't judge me as, ra you know, well you won't judge me and usually that is you won't judge me as being racist. Well first of all that's not humanly possible to not judge. That's another one you get. Don't judge. Don't make assumptions. The nature of an assumption is you don't know you're making it. That Putting that on the list will not stop me from making my assumptions. Okay. <laughs> How about be willing to examine your assumptions if they're pointed out to you, right? Um, speak your truth. This is a popular one that came out of um, uh, Glenn Singleton's Courageous Conversations, and I see this on so many lists, and I'm like, speak your truth. Uh, what if my truth is that I'm colorblind? That's no, that's my truth. I am colored. I don't even notice Asians not white. Um, well, I'm sorry, that's actually not a truth. It's not. No humans are colorblind, so you're wrong. Um, and um, I'm not going to like hold the space where misinformation can be affirmed. We're here to challenge racism. And integral to racism is misinformation, <laughs> right? Um, that's that's one too. Like, well, we let's affirm where everyone's at, you know, like everyone's perspective. I'm sorry, some some are wrong. If I was in a, an astronomy class and I insisted that the a black hole was a, was a dead moon, um, the instructor would say, "Oh no, you're wrong." And if I put that on my exam, I'd be wrong, right? It's like it's it's okay to just say, "I'm sorry, but that's mis misinformed and problematic because it's doing this." I, I'd like to believe people want to learn how racism works and their role in it when they go to a workshop. Um, so these. These guidelines also don't account for power. Um, this be respectful. Well, honestly, for people of color, respect is is getting uncomfortable, getting real, naming. And for white people, respect is don't make me uncomfortable, uh, don't make me feel bad. Um, so, yes, I'll, I see so much coddling.